wow, this movie, that shit's ass, bro. Easily the worst Kung Fu Panda so far. And it's not even a competition. This movie leaves Kung Fu Panda 3 in the dust. Going in, I wasn't expecting anything insane, but oh my God, what the fuck happened here? This movie starts off with the random ass introduction scene and then a scene with Shifu introducing a lesson to Po. That's the third time you've done the exact same shit. This is what happens when a weak ass movie like Kung Fu Panda 2 gets praised to heaven. This lazy ass story setup where Shifu's just like, Po, to take the next step, you need to master this. And Po's like, what? And by the end, he's like, oh, that's what Shifu meant. But I guess in Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3, the lesson isn't painfully obvious. Kung Fu Panda 2 is like, yo, Po, inner peace. Anything is possible with inner peace. And it's stupid, but it doesn't really reveal anything. Kung Fu Panda 3 is like, Po, who are you? And we, as the audience, don't really know the answer. But here, it's literally just, yo, Po, you need to, you need to choose a new dragon warrior, Po. And then Po is fighting this fox, and guys, I really wonder if this fox is gonna be the new dragon warrior. This super glaring plot setup straight up precludes any sense of suspense or excitement from the narrative. We essentially just have to watch this super obvious and predictable character relationship get padded out until the end of the movie. It's so boring that I genuinely thought the movie was two and a half hours long. I was shocked when I saw that it was only 90 minutes. It's yet another Kung Fu Panda 2 clone, but then it also rips off Zootopia? Cars 3 maybe? And fucking Secret Life of Pets, like what the fuck? This movie also has terrible contrivance, like if it wasn't bad enough already. The villain is garbage and she gets the staff with a dumbass 4D plan. She has shape-shifting powers because I guess people in this universe have superpowers now. And she also has the power to lick people and steal their kung fu. So she's gonna steal the kung fu of dudes in the spirit realm, but not by actually going there. She's just gonna call for them and they're gonna appear magically one by one. And she's gonna put them in cages. So then she has all the powers of all the masters and loses to the fox. The only thing that interested me 10 minutes into the movie was the inclusion of Tai Long. I was curious as to where they would go with this character. And they did nothing with this character. They just made him spout out a bunch of lame ass jokes. Yep. Just no character writing skill in this movie. This movie, it's a two. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It, it just sucks. We're really walking down the stairs with these Kung Fu Panda movies. I don't even know what to think about DreamWorks. A lot of people said, oh, look what they did with Puss in Boots, but they also made Trolls and some other movie nobody watched. It is just luck based, so I really hope they don't mess up Shrek 5 because unlike Kung Fu Panda, the Shrek universe actually has more than one good movie. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and joining me through Kung Fu Panda month. It started out fun, but now, yeah, I'm done.